they didn't have a choice to surrender. They could, they could have, there could have been no casualties. Nothing. All they had to do was surrender. We set them up for it. Well, there wouldn't have been a surrender. We, if we had not sent them in, the Soviet Union or Russians probably wouldn't have come in. Even though the Russians are seriously getting some country in between them and the imperialists. Six percent of, of Russia is only controlled. Only six percent of the boundaries are controlled by uh, imperialists. Only six percent. That means ninety-four percent they control. That's what it's all about. Getting a buffer zone because they know that uh, capitalism can't stand without expanding. They have to expand everything. Money has to expand. It has. They have to go in there and, and get that property. What's the next step? What's us? I, 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 we don't want World War III. We need to be out on the street saying we don't want World War III. Right. No, we've like got the two, you know, we've got the two nuclear superpowers of the world rattling armor at each other. What could possibly go wrong? We've been talking. About Take it from me. Okay. In my life, I worked for the. I went to work at some. In San Diego, the only job the was a defense along. job. At 18, Stop because it paid a dollar and a half, I was only making Stop 85 cents. A so I went to work, and, and in that process, I was part of the activation oh, no, of the ICBM that are sitting there Four waiting to go. Now, the years. missile I worked on, they deactivated, the Atlas right. missile. But it was the first one, so that's really what it's all about. I would love to block time philosophical conversation. There's not many people that I've met who can competently and competently engage in philosophical Thank conversation you. the way I hear you speak. All right, that's quite a birthday speech. <laughs> <laughs> you usually say, I won't thank my grandkids. No, 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 no. My mother brought me here this year. Oh, by the way, if you haven't, this is Kathy. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is Angelina. And, oh my God, you were a little bitty. Thing. Yes, I know. Remember? I know. Angelina we all came were. to visit us when she was nine days old. I remember. And she Gina and I raised her for the first two, two and a half years of her life. Right, I remember. I remember. Three. One of the greatest, as an older person, one of the greatest experiences you've experienced is raising a child. I mean, we should, as old, that's one of the things we could do. We should, we should go get the children that need a parent, that need a household. It's just one, it saved my life at 70 years old, raising her. All right. Also, another thing that saved my life was raising Dutch. 